What's up guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Ratchet & Clank Future Quest for Booty. In the last episode we started off our adventure, and now we're on this mysterious island. Our goal was to reach the top of these radio towers, there's quite a few of them on the island. And of course when we get up there we're going to have to um, turn on the power for so that we can get in contact with Rusty Pete. Okay, it shouldn't be that hard to do. These are really easy platforming sections, but before I do, let me hit up some boxes. Oh no, don't blow up in my face please. Thank you. <laughs> You gotta appreciate it when things don't blow up on top of you. And there's this stuff over here, too, which I think what I do with this is I hop over here and throw it. Yes, I do. Okay, and what is up here? I completely forget. Is there some secrets? Some boxes? Let's see. Well, there are some boxes, but that's it. Okay, then let's go and do our first pretty much mission. Yeah, we just gotta climb up there. So what are you guys thinking of the series so far? What do you like about it? What do you don't? That kind of information always helps. Let's hop over here. And I think I gotta throw this there. There you go. Now, unfortunately, to me, in my opinion, there is a little bit of a disappointing amount of content in this game. I mean, it's a $15 game. Like, you can buy this on the PSN store for 15 bucks. But I feel like that's still a disappointing amount. Um, especially, like, I don't know. Nexus is confirmed to be $30, and people are saying it's going to be shorter than the crack in time, but we're not going to get a full, like, you know, five-hour campaign out of it or something. It's not going to be, like, this length either. Because even if this, like, game was twice as long and twice as much, I don't feel like it would be a good enough amount of content for it to be considered a full Ratchet & Clank game. But hopefully we get to see something nice out of it. Let's just, uh, wind this up here, and this will be our first turbine. That'll be our first down of five, and we can check out the map right here. We don't need the map, though. The, it's pretty easy to maneuver. Let's talk to this guy, then. Well, hello there, young fella. Run into any more pirates? What does that door lead to? Oh, that, that's just something Darkwater was working on. We sealed it off after he was killed. Best put it out of your mind. Well, I won't put it out of my mind, because that might be useful to the plot, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, let's go up these stairs and find some more turbines to take out. I think we want to go over here to the left, and that'll be the most effective way of doing things. And there's... I really look at these turbines as sort of a bit of a tutorial, but more in-depth. The tutorials aren't... Like, th this game doesn't really have straight-up tutorials as much as it does use the mechanics in a very simple way. To show you how to play the game if you haven't, but not really straight up tutorial way. Okay, we gotta use these. We gotta kill these guys with our ratchet because um, ratchet using is ratchet. But <laughs> we don't have anything else to use with. We don't have any weapons, and it might be a little bit until we actually do. All right, let's blow this up now and get these boxes. Something explosives and needs to open this gate. All right, that's not big of a deal. They're talking about this gate right here, not that one. That one cannot be opened from my knowledge. Okay, let's try. Grab this, throw it over there. Yeah, you can't open that. Anyways, you want to throw this over here, and boom, we get another one open, and we can use our gripple grapple, <laughs> the fly over here, and do it once more. There's another gripple grapple. And now we have the awesome, uh, what is this called again? The grind boots? <laughs> no, I don't think that's what they're called, but they're pretty cool. I find that awesome that every Return and Clank game starts with the, um, or at least they start with the base equipment you have each game. Like, you know, these boots are boots we got in the first game, and we've had them ever since. I don't know, I just find that kind of little stuff cool. It's like Ratchet, and Cl like Ratchet doesn't need to relearn everything like other games do it. Like, some games in the series, it may make you relearn everything for no reason. And it's sort of annoying for series veterans, but you don't have to deal with that in Ratchet and & Clank, and it's awesome. Okay, looks like we're about halfway through this. And the mechanics, like, really, this isn't that hard of a game. There's a few things you'll find later in the missions that are, like, sort of aggravating, but not really hard. 
It's really weird this game is sort of a breeze when it comes to Ratchet & Clank. Ratchet & Clank is usually a harder series than what this portrays it as. Ooh, almost fell right there. <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. In this swirly grind rail. So like we're right at the end here, we get to hop on the little spring and fly up to the top. That one was also another easy one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do all five turbines in this episode, but I'm going to try. Alright, let's wind this one up. Ooh. Let's wind this one up as well. Awesome, now we get to grind all the way back to the beginning, I believe. Or at least into the next area, which will lead to our next turbine. We gotta first we gotta jump over here. I gotta I gotta be honest with the um the Do they have any leads? No. So far the only thing they've been able to find are red feathers. Okay, well like I was saying before she rudely interrupted me, no. Um the environments are pretty cool, um, just like in every Ratchet and Clank game, basically. Uh, everything looks nice and feels nice. It can be a little buggy. This game, I've seen it be graphically and just physically buggy. It's weird. I feel like not as much care went into this one because of just how small of a title it really is. And I guess that's a little understandable. I'm not looking for AAA stuff in a $15 title. I don't, why is this not working? Oh, okay, thanks. Um, let me try that once more. It's still interesting and still fun, and it's still a part of the series in its main storyline. If this was a spin-off, I really wouldn't be doing it, to be honest with you. Because I'm only interested in Ratchet and Clank, main story. I mean, All for One and Full Front on Saw are cool, but they're not really my style. And that's with a lot of people, which is why Nexus is so exciting. Apparently, Nexus was actually planned for... Um, PS2 it was a PS2 game worked on, about 2006 people were saying, I was reading up on it. And apparently it got cancelled then, and this is their second time working on a Ratchet and Clank game with the title Nexus in it. What am I doing wrong here? This is supposed to be a wall jump? Yep, here we go. Let's get a wall jump on. And some boxes. Okay, sweet. We already have a ton of bolts, pretty interesting. I don't understand how we didn't... We lost all of our weapons, but not a single bolt was lost that day. Ooh, whoa! Don't want to get hit. Do not want to get hit. Oh, we'll wait for this. Now hop over. And now more. And just gotta wait for this stuff. Santa, it's generally insanely easy. Okay, let's wind this one up for our third turbine. Okay, don't try to jump over there, because you will die. Um, you're not supposed to make that jump, and you can't. You might be able to make it if you had Clank, but unfortunately you don't have the poor little guy in this game at all. You won't find Clank at all. Um, we might as well not... Well, let's talk to him now. Lousy, low-down, good-for-nothing vandals. Where's that man gonna crack down on these bumps? What's the problem? Some wise guy uncoupled the flippin' energy conductor from the supply beacon. How am I supposed to fix it without power? <sighs> Guess I'll just have to take lunch. Anything I can do to help? Appreciate the offer, kid, but we can't do nothing till the power is restored. Lucky for me, I'm in the union. <laughs> okay. Well, that's our job anyways, so we're doing a lot to help regardless to what he says. Um, we gotta go over here, though, and give this a little boop. There you go. Alright, now that we have this gate out of the way, we want to use this in a moment here. I think we gotta run over here. Yep. The thing is, is that we can't even get anything, or we can't plug that thing in without um, all the turbines on, so our goal that we've been having is the goal that he wants as well, so. No worries if you don't do anything to help him right away. I gotta, uh, 
There you go. Pull this on out of here. And I just need to pick this one up. And let's see if I can't hit it from here. I should be able to. Black. Nice. Okay, let me take some of this. And make my way over there. Can't completely remember what's over here. I think it's just a few boxes. I don't think it's anything, you know, uh, related to the turbines. Yeah, it's just a box as we saw earlier when we were on the little spinny things. Just that, not much more. Okay, let's hop back over. All right, now that we're back over here, let's blow up this really quick. Even the red boxes give you a handful of bullets. It's not a ton, but I'm trying to get every single bullet I can, just because I like collecting things. All right, let's pick up this and throw it over here. And now, we just need to do a simple little puzzle, just teaching us pretty much how to use this thing, which if you don't know, hold down the R2 button, press square with the symbol, pops up, and you're good to go. All right, let's hop over here and more hitting boxes. But now we actually have to make our way back. I completely did not notice the uh, gate. Not that big of a deal though. Let's grab one and run back over. But I hope you guys are up enjoying the daily uploads I've been throwing out here. This is the first time I've uploaded this consistently in like forever, if ever. I don't think I've uploaded this consistently. We'll expect it for the next two weeks or so. You're gonna be seeing video on top of video on top of video. And it's gonna be great, you know? Good times, good times ahead. And of course, in August, shouldn't slow down at all. You know, August just starting up as a month, and there's a few good game releases coming out sooner or later, and there's gonna be all good fun stuff. Let's go over and get these boxes, and then we'll go and climb the turbine. All right, let's make our way up. Got more of this uh, smoke stuff that we gotta dodge. Really not that hard if you have any idea how to time or how to platform. That shouldn't be that hard. You don't even have to jump, really. Oh, jeez. That one hit me. <laughs> I'm here with some of the villagers, and... Well, they're talking about a curse. A curse? <laughs> Come on, Tal. There's no such thing. I'm sure it's nothing. I'll do some more digging and get back to you. Hmm. A curse. It sounds interesting, but... Not very believable. I mean, imagine in Clank, I mean, there's interstellar planets and everything, so I guess it's pretty believable in that world, but in ours, not really. Okay, now we have to do some tricky platforming. The thing that makes this so tricky is that you can't really see if you're actually gonna get hit or not. Because it's on this weird sideways angle. I have no idea why they wanted I thought this was a good idea. It would have been awesome in the you know, just behind the back third person style because I could actually see what I'm doing. But uh, I guess I didn't want to have it like that. Oh well, we have some uh, sand crabs to beat up there. Ever so creepy. At least in my opinion. Those things are crazy creepy. Alright, just gonna get more and more boxes. That's my goal, that's my plan. There you go. Ba-boom. And let's go up the final wind turbine. Now we have razors to jump over. Ooh. Reminds me of Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I've been playing a ton of that game recently. It is so hard. I want to beat it so badly, though. Just say, I beat Meat Boy. No! No, 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 game. I do not accept this. Alright, let's try this again. Huh. Yeah. Okay, this time, a lot smoother. This th this time, Ratchet didn't feel like giving up on his anti-gravity boots. All right, let's hop over here. Got to do some razor dodging now. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. We're there, guys. We're on the top. Oh jeez. No, don't walk off. <laughs> I'm over at the supply beacon. Come meet me as soon as you can. 
Okay, so in the next episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty, we're gonna go and tell the lady girl, I forget her name too, I forget everyone's names, but I'll tell her about the wind turbines. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys later.